There's mounting pressure for Hedge to roll over the biggest jailbreak in WA's history. A new report has revealed jail bosses were warned hours before the Greenwich prison riot broke out. 80 prisoners ran riot at Greenwich near Geraldton. Ten broke free. <laughs> And the manhunt lasted almost two days. Out the way, move, move, move. And while the criminals behind this mayhem have been charged, the prison bosses face no consequences. I take full responsibility. Corrective Services Minister Fran Logan says blame him, not for the violent riot, but for the staff cuts that led there. Despite that admission and despite pressure, he's refusing to resign. The cause of the riot was these young thugs decided to have a go. That's the cause of the riot. But just hours before the riot erupted, the unit warned staff shortages and overtime restrictions would have consequences across the prison system. The opposition is calling on the Premier to intervene, move this minister on and deliver us someone uh, with a fresh perspective. An independent report shows dwindling staff numbers saw a spike in prisoner lockdowns, igniting a fuse, which exploded on July 24th. Male prisoners used fuel from a garden shed to light fires. Twelve men then broke into the females' unit, inhaling intoxicants armed with shovels, pitchforks, screwdrivers, pruning saws and projectiles. Female inmates were heard screaming, they are burning the place down, they are burning the unit, get us out of here. Prisoners used angle grinders, ladders, ropes and makeshift grappling hooks to escape. Four months on, those in charge are still pointing the finger. The minister is adamant he wasn't told about growing tensions. I certainly wasn't told as a person. I certainly wasn't told as a minister. It was the superintendent's job to report the mounting pressure to Commissioner Tony Hassel. Despite the fallout, the man in charge of the prison on the day of the riot was allowed to keep his job. The superintendent declined and was instead transferred here to the CBD, a desk job in which he's allowed to keep his $160,000 a year salary. I'm not going to comment on individual terms and conditions with our employees. Michael Genovese, Nine News.